I take them because I, I want other, they're, they're not just for myself, but more for others when I get home. I'm going to uh, make it a quest of mine to let people know just exactly what happened in this country. My name is Staff Sergeant Daryl Griffin. I'm an infantry squad leader with the uh, 3rd Striker, Striker Brigade. I record what goes on uh, to show that we, we treated the, not only the uh, women and children with, with uh, the utmost humanity, but we also treated the enemy injured with the utmost humanity. Beginning of February, in, in and around the Najaf area, we came to secure the uh, helicopter crash site. We didn't know that we were right on type of a, uh, a Shia cult type compound called the Heaven's Army. And the war over here is uh, at times very ambiguous. You don't see the enemy that fires at you. There were so many fighters inside this compound, we had to call in airstrikes on the uh, compound. They uh, basically pummeled this compound all, all throughout the night. My squad was the first uh, to enter or strong point in this compound. And the first thing we saw were uh, basically, it was just littered with bodies. Uh, there were dead, dead children, dead women, mixed in with the combatants. Nothing is what it seems over here. Uh, from what I've gathered, people haven't a clue in America as far as uh, what insurgent warfare is like, what the Iraqi people are like, the, the collective psyche of, of the Islamic people here, and all those things are what really drives uh, intrigue and, and uh, ad hoc alliances here, and uh, things are very zen-like when it comes to this type of insurgent war. This is probably something I'll never tell my wife in detail, but my father, I, I share everything with him, and there's really no way to convey what I saw, except that uh, it was, it looked like uh, very apocalyptic. I was a Christian uh, for many years, and then uh, started studying philosophy and became an atheist, and still trying to uh, contemplate God, but it's kind of hard here. <laughs> Maybe take them for myself to always remember uh, if anything else, this is probably the most dramatic thing I've ever done in my life. And the most heart-wrenching at times, the most honorable because I'm, I'm an infantry leader and I got to lead men into combat.